what's going on guys it's uh it's me again i uh, got another video t-mobile is planning to deploy twenty eight thousand small cell sites very soon ah some good coffee my guess <clears throat> as they've already started this verizon was doing this too to kind of densify their network t-mobile's been right on their tails and i'm going to show you something uh after i show you this <clears throat> T-Mobile is always working hard to build out and improve its service. And today, one T-Mobile executive detailed another way in which the carrier will densify its networks. That's what I'm talking about, densification. Kerry Ku Kuopomki? Hmm, sounds like a foreigner. Said that T-Mobile plans to deploy 28,000 small cells in short term. T-Mobile's vice president of technology development and strategy didn't say anything else about the rollout, but he did go into a bit more detail about T-Mobile's approach to deploying small cells. You can do small cells in so many different ways, and I think we have a little bit of different approach. When it comes to the small cells, we found that the best way to do that is to partner with fiber providers. <clears throat> that not only build and bring the fiber to you, but also build those small cells for you. And that is a very efficient way to actually get to the point of having a few small cells to having tens of thousands in the network. And that's a good thing. They've kept expanding, you know, the 700 megahertz coverage. And of course, all that 600 megahertz they got to cover the whole entire United States, they've been deploying that stuff like crazy all over the place. It's hard to even keep up with it. You have to pull up the permits and whatnot and man they've been doing a great and fantastic job and i want to show you guys something to put this into perspective for people that don't have t-mobile now this is t-mobile's website <clears throat> this is what their coverage map well basically looks like right now but by the end of the year it's going to look a little bit better than this and i want you guys to check out this comparison there's t-mobile there's at&t not as good not as dense there's sprint and i just messed up you son of a gun let me click back on here i'm sorry guys And there's Verizon. Look how similar, completely similar T-Mobile and <clears throat> Verizon are going to be. They're supposed to have the same amount of square miles of coverage as Verizon at the end of the year. And from what I understood from T-Mobile representative that I talked to earlier, this is what it is right now since they've been expanding the network but the map is going to actually look a little bit better at the end of 2017 and for hindsight let me see here we go i think does this one have it? Yeah. It's actually going to look better than that. But, I mean, seriously, man, for, for the money that you're paying for Verizon... When you can jump on T-Mobile and have just as good a network with a whole lot faster data speeds, why not make the switch? I may sound biased because I've had T-Mobile for so many years, but they they just, I don't know, man, they're the best bargain. You get the most bang for your buck. <clears throat> I'm on the OnePlus International plan. I have unlimited, true unlimited LTE hotspot. Never get throttled. Use about 200 gigs a month easily because that's how i watch all my tv i've got roku's throughout the whole house and use direct tv now netflix and things of that nature but anyway i just want to make this quick video man 
as always you guys like share and subscribe and if you're not subscribed yet and you're watching that video pound that subscribe button right there it's not that hard just boom just hit it one time anyway man i hope you guys have a great day and uh i'll see you guys on the next one